Here we have a Lenovo ThinkPad motherboard that was mailed over for repair. Let's read what the customer wrote. This one is the 13S G2 ITL model. And we attempted a USB-C replacement. However, when we took the port off the board, we did tear off two traces under the hidden pins. I'm fairly competent at soldering board level repair. However, have been staying away from USB-C ports. I did try two times and the second time the board got a little crispy. Please do not make a video on this. What? I do not understand what's so secretive about this Lenovo motherboard. If this was a prototype or there's something secretive about this board, I would honor the request, but do not tell me what to do on my channel. I'm sorry. Do not tell me what to do on my channel. We're going to make a video on this so customers in the future do not ask not to do videos on their devices. Like I said, if it's a prototype, there's something secret about that board. I would more than happily honor the request. But honestly, it's very lame to ask not to do a video on this motherboard. We fix Lenovo laptops all day and there's nothing special about your board and why we should not make a video on it. We did not disclose your name, your address, your business address, whatever the case may be. Lenovo laptop and we are working on it. Big deal. So we do see that we have two rib pads and we have fried chicken on the left here nice and crispy like the customer said i would agree with him on that part and when you apply so much heat on a board sometimes you lose components nearby i do not see anything missing on the board we do see a crispy board and we do see two ripped pads right here and the port for this board was honestly hard to find but I did get one we got the board a few days ago and we got the port today so I thought let me make a video on this since the customer asked that we do not do a video on his laptop before I go home it's almost six o'clock and we close at six o'clock so maybe we'll go over this board quick the customer tried the repair twice and was not able to do it. So let's see how to solder and restore two traces on this board. So right now, the first thing I want to do is clean the holes. It's a nasty job, but somebody has to do it. And of course, we have to have our soldering iron on also. That's a requirement. Let's go ahead and clean up and then we can get rid of the glare so we can see better. Right now we have a lot of reflection from the light as you can see. So turn on our anti-glare light and just look at this piece of art. Beauty. Anti-glare light, we only have five pieces left. We have shipping on the way but it may not arrive until next month. So if you are in the market for anti-glare light, we have five left grinding pen we have about 25 boxes left we are out of stock on hot air station out of stock on soldering station but we have them on the way they're coming on the way microscopes we have more than enough just log into northrichfix.com click on shop and you can order all your tools from our store if it's in stock place an order and we almost always ship out next day if not then you can either back order or just wait until we have it in stock let's grab a pad strip and I'm currently using pad strips number four. We have four different types of pad strips. You can log into Northridge Fix and search for pad strips. And this one is pad strips number four.
looks like I use this tweezer for solder mask. That's why you see the green stuff on it, but that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and clean it. We're gonna apply some flux. And we're gonna use the NF Mini pen. The NF Mini soldering pen is also out of stock and we are expecting a shipment in two weeks. So we soldered the first one and now we're gonna cut that strip and use it to solder the second one. We're gonna cut it from right over here and use the same pad strip to solder the other one. And just like that. That's what I love about the NF dot mini pen, precision. Great. We restored two pads. Now we did not look at the customer's connector. Let's just confirm that the connector is bad. This here is ours. And let's take a look at the customer's connector. We're gonna have to turn our ring light on. And look at this, look at the customer's connector. But he said that he changed it twice. So I do not know why this connector is like this if it was changed. Or maybe he included the old connector, I don't know. And the connector goes like this. Nice and flush. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reflow. When I say reflow, I mean we're gonna apply hot air until solder liquefy and the port will settle down and all the pads on the connector or all the pins on the connector will make a connection with the pads under. We use the same technique to solder HDMI connectors on Xboxes, Playstations, Nintendo Switches. What's gonna happen is when we press down, we're gonna lose focus. What if we focus the board while I have it pressed on, like this? Solder liquefied. And we are done. We are done. I'm gonna apply just a tiny bit of flux and go over it one more time. And we're good. Now we can let go. And we're gonna flip the board. That will be it for today. Last repair for the day. And tomorrow, a brand new day. And we did an amazing job. And just one final checkup. We cannot go over the pins on the second row, which are hidden, but we can go over those pins. Solid, solid. Every single pin is solid, no doubt. And solid, amazing. And just look at how solder flew all the way from back of the board. We applied solder on the legs from the back and look at how solder made its way all the way to the front. Very stable and solid connection. The pins are perfect and the job is done. If it wasn't for this video, you would not have seen how I replaced the USB-C connector on this ThinkPad laptop. 
or how I restore the traces. And it's really bad from the customer to ask not to post this video to the channel. He has nothing to do with the channel. And this board is not a secret or it's not a prototype. We fix Lenovo laptops all day, every day. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.